honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for joining me for the first episode of Setting the Scene, a new series I'm going to be doing here on my YouTube channel, and it's basically playing with action figures, basically what I want to be doing is uh, just picking a selection of figures uh, from a film scene, movie scene, whatever, um, and basically just posing them for display, and uh, I'll be going into detail with what figures I'll be using, uh, where you can get the figures, um, in terms of what collection they're from, and uh, yeah, just just talking about the posing process. I do get a lot of comments uh, on my collection videos about uh, how I sort of display sort of a couple of figures here and there in different scenes. So I thought this would be a, a cool opportunity to do this with a couple of figures and maybe just inspire a little bit of creativity with posing and display options for your own collection. I know a lot of people do this already, so. Um, just thought I'd make a make a bit of fun video out of it and do a series of uh, videos every now and then. Um, if there's any requests, drop them below. I'd be happy to do it. So, but today for the first episode, we're going to be kicking off with the duel of Mustafar between Anakin and Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, so I'll be using the three figures on the screen in front of you. We have the Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader from the Vintage Collection. So I'll be using Obi-Wan Kenobi from 2008's 30th Anniversary Collection. So it's it's a little bit of an old figure now, but it's uh, it still holds up. So we're gonna we're gonna use him. And the third figure we're gonna be using is the Mustafar Panning Droid for also from the 30th Anniversary Collection in 2008. So we're gonna pull these figures together and we're gonna take a look and see what we can come up with. All right, folks. So here's the figures we're gonna be working with for this for this video. I have Obi-Wan holding the lightsaber with a little elastic band. Unfortunately, the grip on his hands on this figure weren't the best, and the lightsaber is quite slender. Um, and you know, just just over the years, uh, a little bit of wear and tear um, sort of loosens those bits up. But uh, that's fine. We can work with this. It should work fine. Just taking them off the stands. This is the uh, vintage collection Darth Vader, which it was originally carded as Darth Vader, and then it had a running change to Anakin Skywalker, or it was vice versa. I can't actually remember. Um, you know, we're going back over ten years now. It's from 2010. Uh, yeah, pretty solid Anakin slash Vader. Probably still the definitive three and three quarter inch episode three Anakin to date. Uh, there was one released using similar parts of the body, um, had swivel arms and a more a less Sithy head, uh, which was also a pretty pretty solid Anakin figure. But this one, you know, it's fitting for Mustafar. And then we have the Mustafar panning droid here. So we've got the platform. It has a couple of pegs on it, which is nice, it's always handy. We have the panning droid itself. Which also has some pegs on it. But I think for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do away with this. I'd like to have them both sort of close up, close quarters combat. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see, how that, see how that looks. I usually have him posed a little bit differently, but I actually just drilled a small hole and have him on the stand there, so he sits. Just gives it a little bit more um, stability. So we may end up using that again. So basically, what we do here, and um, I'm going to try and do a little bit of twin-handed dueling here for for them both. This would be better if the hands were able to join up a little bit better. So it's all about angles and direction. And why is his head not fitting on? <laughs> it just looks really funny on the ball, ball joint there for some reason at the moment, but it's probably because I just haven't picked up the figure for quite a long time and uh, had a good sort of play around with it. You know, I may actually use, because Obi-Wan's just not getting that twin-handed uh, grip. Which 
just because the uh, you know we're going back to three and three quarter inch. You know, black series figures are fantastic now. They'll they'll come together and hold a lightsaber. Um, so I may go with the uh, maybe a slightly defensive stance from an Anakin strike. So he does have does have the ball joints at the top there, the ball hinges, so we can use that. The knees. We sort of not have him stumbling back, but almost, you know, just taking a slightly defensive backward step, well aware that the uh, lava does surround him. So I'm actually going to use this front peg here. This actually may end up needing the uh, panning droid itself. But we will, we will see. We'll go with it from here. Uh, might just get him on the edge a little bit more. Just tilt up a little bit and get a better look. There we go. I do have a small little tab of uh, blue tack just to sort of aid in the positioning. I'll use this to keep most of my figures on the standing on the shelves. That's how they don't fall down. <laughs> That's the best thing ever for my collection that has been. Kind of got him. I just want to pull him back a little bit more, perhaps. Let's get those knees bending, those ankles bending. We don't want to pop him off that peg. All right, so I think that works. So let's uh, let's look at Anakin here. So being at the peg. He's down here, I want to have him have that foot sort of... Sort of use that sort of waist articulation to get him just to spin, pivot a little bit there. Just uh, get him there on the stand and see how that looks. Not too bad, and it can probably come come back a little bit more central. his head really looking at Obi-Wan in the eyes. I might actually push Obi-Wan back his lightsaber forward a little bit. Just that he has predetermined this attack from Anakin and that uh, he is a little bit forward with his uh, with his motion there but still almost ready to parry away that swing. So I think that's that's kind of where I want it. I think at the moment, I think that sort of holds quite well. A little bit of a, a little bit of assistance there from good old friend Blue Tack, just to sort of get that there. Get Obi Wan, Obi Wan sort of looking towards Anakin a little bit more there as well. It's easy to sort of go behind the figure like this, and you can kind of you can sort of see where their eye lines are, are matching. That's kind of working pretty well for me at the moment. And kind of just um, display this one next to it as well. But yeah, I think that works quite well. I'm pretty happy with the finished result. Um, 
yeah, let's get a let's get a photo. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I had a bit of fun putting this together. I really would like to do this a little bit more often. This is actually I uh, sort of changed up my initial display that I've had this figure in for these figures in for quite a while. So it's refreshing to sort of sit there and take the time and talk myself through it as well. Um, you know, I'm willing to jump into six inch black series stuff as well. Uh, although there is more of a range in three and three quarter inch. Um, but yeah, any requests, drop them in the comments below. Let me know if any scenes you'd like to see. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, stay tuned for another episode of Setting the Scene. Until next, until next time, folks, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.